Hello, good morning. Today is a very exciting day. I'm getting top surgery today. Gosh, I am tired. It is 6 a.m. currently, and I'm gonna show you my cozy outfit. So, this is my outfit. If you can't tell, I'm actually quite cold, hence the hoodie. But this is my outfit. I'm not gonna be able to do this for six weeks. This is the dancing man emoji, by the way, if you can't tell. Anyway, this is my outfit. I feel very snuggly and comfortable. And I'm not binding because I feel like I probably shouldn't arrive there in a binder when I'm gonna be wearing a post-op binder for six weeks. I have already packed my bag. I packed it last night because I'm a prepared man. I am prepared for this. <laughs> but I thought we could do a what's in my bag, but like what's in my bag, top surgery edition. So then I can show you what I've packed so that if you're getting top surgery, you can see the kind of things that I packed and the kind of things that you can pack yourself. So first things first, I have these shorts because I thought I could pack the exact version of the outfit I have right now, but less warm because even though I'm chilly right now, it is like a heat wave at the moment. So this, <laughs> I like how the pockets are out. That's really silly. <laughs> okay, I feel like I'm gonna look like Adam Sandler. Also, I'm already getting warm, so I'm going to take that off. Oh my god, crazy bed hair. Crazy bed hair. Okay, so these are the shorts that I'm bringing. And then I've got a bunch of snacks for the journey on the way back. My friend Louis is picking me up in his car because he drives. He is a driver. Okay, I have crisps. I really like these. They're right when they say double crunch. They are very, very crunchy. And then these... Oh, looking at food right now is really annoying because I am so hungry. Okay, mango. And then I have this face mask thing. This, you distracted me. And then I have this face cream and um, my anxiety meds, multivitamins, because I take these now <laughs> because I feel like I need them. And then I have vitamin D. Um because I don't get enough sun. I don't like the feeling of the sun. The sun is very hot. I don't like it. Um, my keys, which are really cute actually, because they have a bumblebee on them. Okay, and then we have my phone charger. And then I thought, look, this is actually, this is actually really smart. One moment. Isaac told me to get this, by the way. I'm not the smart person here. A really, really long phone charger. Approxim approximately three meters um so it means that i can be on my phone at all times but we're really far away from a plug socket which is actually perfect because i'm usually really far away from a plug socket and then here we have a button up because then it's easy to put on and easy to take off so i won't have any problems with that one and then finally the last few things underwear pink because i'm a barbie boy linguini the sardini for emotional support my emotional support jelly cat. And then some wipes. I don't know why I went, I went a bit of ham on the wipes. I don't know how many wipes I think I'm going to be using. But you know what? At least I've got myself covered if I'm really, really stinky when I come out. <laughs> and then headphones. Um, a lip balm. I already have a lip balm, but I thought I'd pack another one just in case I lose it. Because I don't know what happened. I don't know what I'm doing. But like anything I ever have, ever, I lose. Um... A toothbrush and then I have to take my piercings out during surgery like before surgery not during it because I'll be conked out but um I bought this I think this is really smart I bought this which is like a piercing bag thing so I don't lose them because I know what I'm like and I'll get out and I'll be like well I don't know where any of my piercings are and then all of a sudden I have no piercings so yeah that's what's in my bag oh one thing that I forgot to tell you you have to shave your armpits before top surgery um, so now they look like, they look really strange. I haven't shaved my armpits in ages. The last time I shaved my armpits was when I dyed them pink and then it made them look all funky and they kind of looked a bit mouldy. Um, so I had to shave them and it made the consistency of my armpits really strange. But anyway, um, that is, anyway, ta -da! shaved my armpits, um, which I had to do yesterday, which was a very weird experience. Here we are. If you were interested in what a close-up of the form looks like, that's my little scribble out when I realised that yoghurt might make me feel ill. <laughs> but yeah, this is what it looks like. This is the fun part. I am in my cool outfit. Outfit check. Okay, and I have to key into this um, to check that I'm not pregnant. <laughs> Hello, everybody.
Woody. Do you like my outfit? I'm going to give you a spin. Oh my gosh, I feel so fun. <laughs> it's going to be so soon now. I'm so excited. I just peed into a cup. <laughs> so this is the part when I have to take my piercings out. I have never taken out my lip piercings, so I'm kind of intrigued. I'm going to be putting them into this bag here. Um, so I don't lose them because I know what I'm like. Okay. I'm kind of scared to see what my face looks like. I've had it for so many years. Got the ball off. Oh, I look so boring. Okay, I'm getting more boring by the second. Can you put that ball on for me? Because I can't do it. Okay, right now, the last one. This is also going to be hard. It's all. It's good when piercings don't come off when you don't want them to, but when you do want them to, they're actually really hard to get off. Okay, I have taken my piercings out. My face looks so strange. I don't like it. Look at these. <laughs> I always fiddle with them, so look how much they stretch. Like, look at the holes. I don't think they're gonna heal up. I don't think we're gonna have any problems with that. I hope not as well. I look so strange. You do. Ah, Oh, don't punch you. <laughs> Beep. That's going to be there for this operation. Oh, that's squeaky. Mm. <clears throat> I feel like a robot. Thank you. Look at this. It says sex mail, I think. <laughs> oh. Nervous or excited? Oh. Excited! Do the quiz. Hello. So I just mm -hmm. did the anesthe anesthesiologist. Anesthesiologist. Anesthesiologist just came in and I told him about how I'm nervous about the feeling of like going under, like the idea of like going to sleep during operation, terrifying. Literally, the only pain I've ever been in is jamming my finger in a car door, and that is literally the only thing I've ever had happen to me. Little minor things where I've been in pain before, so I was very nervous about that side of it. But I just spoke to him, and he was really nice, and he made me feel calm. So now I'm not scared anymore, actually. I'm just really excited. And apparently, you just don't even realize, and you just go under, and then you wake up, and, you, and I don't have boobs anymore. Okay, so that's really fun. Um, apparently I have to read this all the way through because Miles Berry, uh, my surgeon, is going to quiz me and I love quizzes. <laughs> um, so I want to get full marks on the quiz. Okay, so what is he going to ask me, do you think? Um, Just read all the information and then you'll Where know is the information? Is it this bit? Yeah. Is it this bit? Read all of it. You like my shoes? Yeah. Wait. Ta da I think I look do 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 Brand new pop shell into the villa. <laughs> it fell. Yeah, <laughs> I'm so excited, I'm not even scared anymore. Look at these. Look what I can eat tomorrow. I can eat these tomorrow. You can eat them today. No, because I want to eat them in the car. I can get you another packet. <gasps> you can get me another packet. <laughs> okay. Quiz me. What's your name? Ezra Butler. Eh eh. Ezra Noah Butler. Eh eh. <gasps> That's not my name anymore. <laughs> Who's doing your surgery? Mars Berry. What's the anesthesiologist's name? Something Armstrong. He's like a James. Is he a James? 
don't know. I don't remember. You better know that. Where are your nipples going? Um, I'm swapping my ears, my earlobes for my nipples. Are you going to ask Miles Berry if you can swap your nipple, if he can swap your nipples around? Honestly, maybe. Maybe because I, who else gets the chance to do that apart from people that are getting there? I'm asking if he can cut them off of craft scissors though. Okay, so Mars Berry just came in and I signed a little form um, just agreeing with everything, the thing that I was reading out earlier for you, the quiz. Um, he didn't actually quiz me, so, um, well, that was a waste of time. And then um, he mapped out where he's chopping around on my boobs and very fun stuff. I'm really excited. I don't think it's been very long until I go in and get top surgery. Way to go. Yeah. We're filming a little vlog. This is Steve. <laughs> <laughs> you ready to go? Yes. To leave you. Yeah, yeah. Bye. See you in three hours. I love you. I love you too. Yeah. In we go. Okay, I haven't drank in so long. That's so nice. Okay. Mm. So you're giving you about enough, okay? It's so chilly. Mm. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Okay. Goodbye. I like her. She's nice. <laughs> I thought she got a microphone up for me to sing. For you to sing. Do you want to sing? No. <laughs> hello. I am. I keep saying hello at the beginning of every message, but I just wanted to say hello. I'm awake. <laughs> Obviously. I don't have boobs anymore. I can't show you until one week. And I can't put the put the thing up really high because that would be silly. But look. I'm out and about. Um when I woke up I felt really funky and I thought I was going to be sick, but I wasn't. I'm feeling so good. I woke up and it felt very, very strange. I was very nervous. So obviously, I've been talking about how nervous I was about the whole going under thing. Um, but they just put this in my hand. Oh, goodness. They put this in my hand. Is this connected to anything? No, but it's still in you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> cannula. Cannula. Um, they... They gave me fentanyl and they were like, have you ever heard of that? And I was like, yeah, from euphoria. <laughs> Obviously not in the same respect because um, not the same vibes. But um, anyway, and then they gave me this breathing mask thing and they were like, oh, you should soon go under. And I, when they put it in my mouth, I thought, God, I don't think it's going to make me go under. I, I, I'm just still awake. And then I woke up. And now I have no boobs. <laughs> I don't remember you doing that. Yeah, I put them all back in for you. Your belly button piercing's closed up. Oh. Yeah. To be honest, though, my belly button piercing was a rogue one. Oh, that's really <laughs> quite sad. I've had my, my belly button piercing is my longest body piercing. Um... I've had that since I was 16 and I'm 21 now. The, the person that came in, what's their name? The nurse. I don't know. The I don't know actually. But she came in and said, how are you feeling? And I said, crazy sauce. And she did a little giggle and I was like, that's a good thing, by the way. <laughs> it's good to be crazy sauce. Look at my tash. <laughs> my tash is tashy. 
At least I didn't lose these. These bad boys. <laughs> oh my God. I did it. I did it. I was feeling very emotional this morning. Um, very, very emotional this morning. I had a little cry um, because I was feeling um, very sensitive, but in a way of like, this is the best day of my life. Oh my God. You know when you're like aware that something's going to be the best day of your life? I've never been aware of that before. The previous best day of my life was Pride this year. That was lovely. That was, that's, very nice that's the second best day of my life. Is this your best day of your life now? This is the best day of my life, yes. He's off to Waitrose to go get some snackages. <laughs> and I just wanted to show you the reality of what the bloat is like. So... Bye, Bye, love you. Bye. So, it kind of like, because of the post-op binder, it kind of like pushes down a bit and then makes your stomach all like shoved in one place. But like, yeah, I'm watching Big Bang Theory and I've been given some food. So, I'm going to show you the food that I've got given. I've eaten it. <laughs> but this was a bunch of toast. And then I've got some biscuits here. This is my soup which is really nice. It's lentil and vegetable. And then this is the ice cream. I've already eaten quite a bit of it and I'm gonna eat some more because it's really nice. This is the tomato pasta, but I can't lean and show you because I've just had top surgery. But yeah, this is my array of foods. And then um, I have a bunch of snacks over there as well. I think the ice cream is genuinely so, so nice. They have like little chunks of strawberries in it, which is just epic. And Isaac's been an absolute little lamb and um, put my um, Vaseline and took the top off it so I don't have to stress and take the top off it, which is honestly so epic. Um, I feel great. I feel so, so great. I feel really, really happy. And I've messaged all my friends and told them that I love them and appreciate them and that I can't wait to be um, back in Brighton so I can see them all. Um, and then my friend Louis is coming tomorrow to pick me up in his car room room um and take me and isaac back to brighton but yeah i'm so so excited <laughs> i've just remembered is that when i got these tattoos here my trans fairies i got them to look like me but with top surgery scars because i knew i wanted top surgery like in the future like i knew that i was going to do it and now they actually do look like me like look at the hair like the funky hair all spiky and then the top surgery scars like it's literally me oh that's really adorable i just remembered that i just dropped my charger on the floor it just dropped down there i just gone to the shop so i'm gonna have to wait until he comes back for that one also this ice cream oh, i'm obsessed with it i need to eat it before it melts because i keep chitter chatting away and then it keeps melting. Good morning. I just woke up. I've been given more painkillers. So I'm going to take them. They've broken them in half for me because I'm really bad at taking them and they're so big. So I'm going to pick them up. So I'm attempting to put jam on my toast. My um, chair has been moved upwards so that I can reach. But yeah, I'm going to turn around the other way so you can see what I'm up to. Hello. This is actually quite tricky. Like, I don't think I've ever found it so hard to put jam on a piece of toast. I'm feeling quite sore today. Um, but I've just taken, I've just, you just saw me take my pain meds, so um, that should kick in soon. I think I must have, well, to be honest, in the night, I'm not surprised. I asked for jam on my toast. It looks really good. I'm really excited about it. Okay, I'm going to jam the other one afterwards. So this is my breakfast. Mm. One thing I will say is that my appetite is normal. I'm very much still a hungry, hungry guy. Mm. I just went on Instagram and I put on my story yesterday being like, oh, I wish I had 
boy birthday balloons. You know, it's like, it's a boy. Or like, blow up ones that say boy. And someone in that time drew me with boy balloons and sent it to me. So sweet. Made me feel very, very happy. I'm feeling very delicate and sensitive today. I'm looking forward to being back in Brighton. I'm bringing my bed because I really like my bed. It's so comfy. Mm. And I can't wait to see Isaac and Louis. Louis is my best friend and he's driving all the way here to come get me and then driving me back to Brighton. I'm so excited. Oh, buttering this is making my arms ache. Buttering? Spreading the jam. I didn't put butter on it because I can't be bothered to spread two things, which I think is so valid. Round two. I really like this. This is really tasty. Mm. I'm not usually up in time for breakfast. I'm looking forward to being back in Brighton. It's going to be so nice. And I feel like my friends Kira, Kizzy and Louie are going to end up being like my carers. The ones that come over and make me food and things. And then obviously Isaac as well. But they'll be there when he is at work. Mmm, this is really tasty. I think yesterday I was a bit too mobile with my arms. Like I'd lean out and try and grab something and I'm not doing that anymore. Because that was... <gasps> oh, I got jam on it. I'm actually so annoying. I have to wear this for six weeks and I've got jam on it. Well. I'm surprised I haven't done that sooner, to be honest. Look and Louis a little bit late because there's like traffic and stuff um, coming from Brighton. So I'm going to take my meds. So I have my anti-anxiety meds. I managed to brush my teeth, managed to wipe my face. I just do it with those things. Um, and obviously didn't stretch too much or anything like that. So there we go. This is my team. You see me take so many meds in this video. Okay. Now these ones aren't like important particularly, but I just take them anyway, because I've started to try to carve myself a bit more. So more vitamin. Um, and vitamin D. So this one, it doesn't taste of anything and also I'm really bad at taking tablets, so I just crush it with my teeth and then swallow that. This is what I'm looking like today. Feeling great, I'm not gonna lie. Speak to Miles Berry today, he was lovely. So I had to fill in this survey today and just say about how I felt about everything. So I was very honest, and on the back, so please let us know how we can improve our services. And I said, I really like the food. The ice cream was lovely, which it was. I really, really liked that ice cream. It was my favorite. And I want more. So good, so good. Um, if I can go to any kind of shops on the way home, I really want to go get some strawberry ice cream because that was really, really nice. Okay, so I'm gonna go put my clothes on. So I've managed to pack most of my things. There we go, that's an easy way to show you. Um, so I've done all of that kind of stuff. I feel very, very proud of that, not gonna lie. I really didn't think I'd be able to do that. I packed all my things away. Um, I tidied my bed a bit because I felt a bit bad leaving it for anyone. I know I've just had surgery, but I felt, oh my God, one thing is I felt really bad about ringing this thing. So you, if you need help or anything, you can ring this. And I didn't want to ring it because I didn't want to be a nuisance. Um, one time I had to ring it was because I accidentally dropped my phone on the floor and I couldn't pick it up. 
Um, and no one was here, so it's not like I could get anyone to do it. So I had to ring it and then it didn't work. Um, so I had to call it instead. Because it says, it says sometimes it doesn't work, so I have to call her. So I called them and I was like, no, I dropped my phone on the floor. Can someone please come pick it up for me? I felt so bad. Um, also, Isaac's like two hours late, so but they've let me stay in here, which is really nice. Um, so I managed to have like a really nice nap and stuff. I feel way more clean now. Like, yeah, I'm not stinky. That's good. That's great. And I'm not going to put my top on yet because um, it's very warm in here and I don't want to feel more warm than I have to be. <laughs> I'm now in the car. Isaac's here and Louis is driving. <laughs> um, I have this big pillow. But you know how I was talking about before, how I was worried about how it was going to be in the car? Well, this was... Isaac thought ahead. And I have a pillow to... Um, so then I don't have the seatbelt rubbing against my post-op binder. But yeah, I'm feeling absolutely great. I've eaten some more food. I ate these really nice... What are they? They're like cheese and... Cheddar and spinach mini muffins. I really like them. They're really, really good. I always eat all of them. And I eat them all. So I'm feeling amazing and energized i can't wait to get back to brighton yes i'm feeling tip top of the world i've just arrived home and look what i've arrived home to welcome home and i have these it's a boy and then can you turn it around the other way because i can't because of my arms and it says sorry not sorry for your loss with boobs with a no entry sign on it i love that <laughs> so much there's another welcome home and then i have these and Ezu card, there's card. Oh, this is so lovely. Dinosaurs. I love you so much. Oh my god, dinosaurs. I love dinosaurs. Oh my god. This is really adorable. You are so wonderful. Oh. I am a boy. Thank you so much for watching my top surgery vlog. I'll definitely upload a part two when I have my reveal. Um, but yes, thank you so much for watching. I don't have boobs anymore.